All right, ladies and gentlemen, so now we are getting into the Bleach special, the No Breaths of Hell. Um, again, this is a one-off manga that we're doing a live reading of. Um, it is the beginning of the Howling Jaws of Hell arc that whenever they begin writing for it, we will know. Um, this is the first page of it you see right here. They have all of the current Gotei 13 right there. You see Shinsui, he's over to the right. He's, uh, he's just chilling right there. There's Kensei above him. Above him is Mayuri. Uh, above Ichigo, that's Shinji, Byakuya, Toshiro, and that's Lisa. Um, if you don't know who Lisa is, she is the, um, she's the head of squad. Let me see. What squad is Lisa the head of? I want to say squad eight. Lisa. I think she's the head of squad eight now. Yeah, she's the head of squad eight. So, there's that. But she was the stern ridder that had on the, um, she had on a schoolgirl outfit. And that during the uh, the fake Karakura Town arc when the Ninos Grande came up, she was the one who had like the big spear, as you see right there. But that's Lisa. Uh, there's Rose right there. There's Kenpachi, Rukia. She's the head of Squad 13. She um, took over Ukitake after he, uh, well, you'll find out. Um, Iba, you know, he's the head of, um, I want to say Squad 11. Is each is Eva the head of Squad Eleven? No, that's Kenpachi. Which one? Eva's head of Squad Seven. Excuse me. Um, above Rukia, that's uh, that's Soy Fong. and down here it may look a little different, but the the girl over here that got like the little apple bob thing going on, like right up there right above my head right there that's Isune and if you don't know who Isune is she was the vice captain to Retsu Unohana when uh, she was still alive which Isune is the um, Isane excuse me let me see if I can find a picture of her that's her Isane but she looks different right there, there you go that's her so she should look familiar now Isane right there. But that's how she looks. So. She became the captain of squad four. I can't remember exactly who was the head of squad four. But. Uh, before her. But um, she became the captain of squad four. So again. This is the beginning of the Jaws of Hell arc. Or rather this one off manga is. Treating this book as the first step towards that arc we're going to go over it it's going to reveal a lot of stuff man as somebody who already read it um it's really going to be one of those uh <laughs> it's really going to be one of those mangas that yeah if, if you're a fan of bleach you're going to want to read this so going on to the first page i'm gonna read it as is so when i was little I own two goldfish. They were cute and I loved them a lot, but at some point the larger one died. The reimagining goldfish seemed to feel so lonely, seemed to feel lonely, and so did I while observing it. But from that day, the, the little goldfish I thought had stopped growing began to grow bigger and bigger and bigger and continued to become healthier. Seeing that day, seeing that made me really relieved and I'm glad it was a good thing that the larger one died and then you see like this long gigantic goldfish floating in the sky and this is uh kazooie konchan this is ichigo and orihime's uh son and he, you know orihime's just checking on him you know th this is uh the world of the living karakura town block one and, yep he's sleeping properly 
Thank you for playing with Kazuya today as well, Kong-chan. So Kong is right there, knocked out. So when, once Orihime closes the door, Kong pops his head up. Uh, Kazuya opens his eyes, and they get ready to sneak out. Hey, wait, stop, stop, stop. Hey, hey, wait, wait, stop, wait, stop. What? Don't what me. You just got in trouble yesterday. You need to behave us and go to sleep today. But I promised that I'd go today. You also promised your mom that you would actually sleep. Which one's more important? The promise I, <laughs> the promise I made first. That's what I mean. What's up with this kid? He's so bad. He, what's up with this kid? He's so hard to handle. Fine, I don't care anymore. You don't, you don't have to come home. You don't have to come, Kong Chan. <laughs> so as he jumps out the window in his PJs. He uh, activates his soul reaper powers and jumps on the back of the goldfish and he flies off. So he said, wait, I'm coming too. You could have just said you didn't notice I left because you were sleeping. Oh crap, I should have thought of that. Sob, sob, sniff. Sob, sob. Oh, I came to play. His cry doesn't suit him at all. Uh, you're late. I was so lonely. And I said this yesterday, but don't call me uncle. I'm 15. A man that's lying about his age and whose cry doesn't suit him at all. I'm not lying. Wait, wait. Is this a talking... Is this... Is this talking stuffed animal? Wait, what is this talk? What is this talking stuffed animal? And no more thing. And one more thing. I'm sorry about... I don't think I can come tomorrow. No way, I'll be lonely. Yeah, that's why. I'll take you to a place where you won't be lonely today and I think this dude is dead he is so there's a chain on him so he's been in the world of living so I guess he has to get led to the soul society and I think Kazui is uh taking him there a shrine no next to it we go from here oh he's taking him to the soul society oh what's this it's scary was this your first time seeing it Kon-chan it's not it's not scary. Look, if you stand here and clap three times, and clap once more, see inside here, it's all right. Everyone's there, and then here comes the title: "No Breaths from Hell." And three hours later, three hours later, in the Soul Society, the Officer Mansion. Uh, good morning, Master. Hey, you're late, Ichika. And this is Renji and Rukia's son, uh, daughter. And uh, Ikaku is the one pretty much training her because she's a Soul Reaper cadet. And, you know, they're going at it. See, they're going back and forth. Phew. You've improved, Master. Shut up, you little shit. I've been good from the start. I'm your master. And stop posing. Get off the roof or I'm going to kick your little... <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna kick your ass you little shit you called me a little shit two times you're the only one that calls me a little shit meaning I can't be replaced you should be grateful now stop whining and jump down you little shit <laughs> it's dangerous if I if I jump down uh, you idiot be careful I see an opening I don't have one have you gotten have you gotten rusty haven't you gone on expeditions to the world of the living I haven't gone. I'm only allowed to go on long breaks. Must be lonely. I bet you're longing to see Ichigo's kid. I, I don't want to see him. It's not like it's not like that between me and Kazuli. You're an idiot, Master. An idiot. <laughs> you guys are still going at it. I don't know who this is. I think this I think this is what's his name, but I can't think of his name. Um, good morning, Chika Sung. It is him. Good morning, Chika Sung. You're beautiful today as well. Thank you. You're all so cute, Ichika-chan. Why are you making this face? I haven't done anything. And what do you mean we're still going at it? This kid just arrived. Ah, so you've forgotten after all. The Soul Funeral Festival. The festival. It's a ritual that takes place 12 years after the funeral of a captain that, that died in battle. It's my first time hearing of it. I hadn't heard of it. I haven't heard of it till this year either. After all, captains rarely die in battle. So we did the previous captain commander's ritual the other day 
when we did Captain Unohana's and today's the ritual for Captain Ukat Ukatake. What kind of ritual is it? We capture the hollow in the world of the living and kill it in front of their grave. Huh? What the heck? Is that fine by the standards of soul society? Well, it's an old custom. Wait, wait a minute. Where are you, where are you right now? It's awfully noisy around you. Ah, uh, my bad. Kago started the ramen shop recently. And we all came to eat since he doesn't get any customers. Is he sane choosing that store name? Kago never has never been sane. No, I have. Like right now. Could you stay out of the conversation, owner? The other customers will feel uncomfortable if you're too friendly with us. You know, I don't have any other customers yet. You still said that. <laughs> I was, it was a roundabout way of telling you to shut up, owner. <laughs> Call me by my name when there's no other customers. Damn you. <laughs> Yo, oh, there's there's one bowl of ramen. Oh, my ramen's here. I gotta go. Hey, wait, wait, wait. I'm the one that called you. Don't cut off. Oh, that's right. So what did you want? I was saying that you should attend too. Eh? That kill a hollow festival? Spirit Funeral Festival. Normally only captives are allowed to attend. But you're not an outsider regarding the captain regarding Captain Ukatake. So they said you could attend. Who said it? Kill Rakusan? Captain Kuriaku and Rukia. Oh. If it isn't Ichigo. This this is amazing. Your face appears. So this is the newest model of the Reaper communication device. It's a cell phone. It's cell phone. So what do you have? An older model? Yes. I said I didn't need a new one because the old model works just fine. But it's a different story if you can see faces. So interesting. By the way, where's Orihime? Is she the she on this side? You can't even see her if you look from a from an angle. She's doing laundry at home. What? A husband that leaves all the chores to his wife? I know what that is. It's called moral harassment, right? You're wrong. And when did you even learn something like that? We recently started having these things called TVs and Soul Society. And you can watch shows from the world of the living too. Never thought this would be how I learned what a parent feels when their kids watch TV instead of studying. But a TV and Soul Society? Huh? I, I can't really imagine that. Urahara-san started helping out in the Shinigami Research and Development Institute after the war, and a bunch of different new spirits devices have been invented. Oh, Urahara-san is really a, an amazing person. I can't let that pass. <laughs> and here's Mayuri popping up out of nowhere. I can't let that pass. Let me hold up. I'm scrolling up, but uh, you guys can't see that good. Let me move myself over to the side a little bit. There we go. Now, I can't let that pass. Captain Kurosuchi, why are you here in the first place? I, why are you here? In the first place, I was inventing things while keeping the grace of the Serite in mind. That, that man who doesn't know a thing about grace is trying to ruin my efforts. Wait, no, Renji. He's not actually here. There's an image coming out of this bug. What is that? It's disgusting. That's great. That's graceful. It's useless if you use that. It's useless. Even if you crush that insect, I have already spread replacements all over the place. That sounds like something you say during a battle. And I can hear your voices, so you should choose your words carefully. <laughs> Sorry, Captain Kurosuchi. All right, big sis Yamada, big sis and Yamada, you shouldn't apologize when you haven't done anything wrong. Oh, it's a hologram. It's my first, it's my first time seeing the real deal. Gross. There's an emergency message, Captain Kurosuchi. Captain Kurosuchi, I have a message for all vice captains. I'm home. Master said I for, he forgot something. Master said he forgot a job or something, so he kicked me out even though 
I went out of the way to go there. Captain Kurosuchi, cool. For the first for the first stage of tonight's soul funeral festival, preliminary ritual capture of the mass spirit. It's about time all vice captains to head to the world of the living. Heading over, it's time. Okioba san, stick it. Stick to your Okioba san. St stick to our captain. Understood. Uh, that's a weird word for me. Uh, hurry up your potential preparations. Hurry up your preparations. Yes. It's the Seventh Division barracks. Hey, have you guys seen Atu? The vice captain is playing with animals in the yard. Atu. Atau, even though that guy, even th that guy, even though I've said that today is an important day. No, this is a new guy. Wasn't this? No, he's new. And I've got a message for you, for you, Captain Kurosuchi. It's fine. I just, I heard it just now. Oh, okay. Still. He set up such a large scale contraption on all the barracks just for a message. We already knew about the time. Could it be? Captain Kurosuchi is panicking because Urahara-san keeps inventing new merchandise. Try not to say such stupid things. I'm just testing a prototype that makes use of our technology better than what he was. You're totally conscious of him. <laughs> he just used the laser beam eyes. <laughs> On, I, I don't know who he used them on, but he used laser beam. Oh, he was getting ready to shoot Shuhei. Wow. No way he can attack. Above all else, did you refer to the inventions of my Shinigami Research and Development Institute as merchandise? I'm not. I'm not the one that said that. So what they, so what they mean by a job? Both my father and my master. It's not fair for them to go play in the world of living without telling me. Okay, captains are the only ones that attend the ritual, and vice captains are to capture a hollow for preparations. But was there a need for all these people to gather here? Shut up, outsiders. Shut up, outsiders should stop yapping about our traditions. And why are you even here in the first place? What? You're the one that told me I'm not an outsider and I should attend. I told you to attend the ritual. <laughs> now, now, don't fight. Anyway, the ritual can still, the ritual can't start until we finish things on our side. So you can quickly get this done, quickly attend the funeral, and quickly go out for a drink. I just got a sudden addition to my schedule. Can you drink today? Yeah, I still have the time until my deadline. What were you thinking? That, what were you working as again, I'm a translator. Wow, you're such an intellectual. Yeah, I'll introduce the newcomer since it's rare for all of us to gather. That's Rindo, the vice captain of Ibasan's division. He can't talk. Do you know sign language? No, I don't. Sorry. He said you don't need to apologize. He can read lips so he understands what we're saying. That's awesome. You're not, you're not awesome at all. Stop making that smug face. This is somebody else new. How's it going? I'm vice captain of the 8th division, Sion Yayara. Yayahara. Yu Yu. Nice to meet you. Sorry, she's been influenced by what is referred to as the Gyaru in the world of the living. The world of the living doesn't have Gyarus like that. By the way, she's a vice captain of Captain Yodomaru's division. Oh, that makes sense. You're the hero of the great world, Ichigo-san. I've heard rumors. Can I take a picture? I'll make sure to put a filter on. I'm not a hero. Don't take a picture and don't use a filter. Here we go, say, Pocorino. <laughs> I'll ask about Captain... I'll ask my Captain about your line account and send you a firm request later, so make sure to add me. No way, and why does she know about my account? That's all right. I'm a tolerant person, so I'll just pretend I didn't hear you say that. Who made it so that the Reaper communication device supports line? Or Horus or did that bastard. <laughs> so Ichika is just snooping around. 
All right, I got here without getting caught. I just had to put my mind to it. My mind into it. And then she notices something. She's surprised. And this is actually, now for those, now let me stop reading for a sec. This is actually a hollow that appeared, but it's an important hollow. Um, you're gonna see in a minute. But anyway, this hollow appeared behind Renji and basically everybody that was around there, it just appeared. So what's that? Why hasn't anyone noticed it? Father, he yelled it out. Ichigo, why are you? Slashed. Ichigo still sees it, chops off the arm, and kills it. That's well. Was that a hollow? No way. Why didn't anyone notice it? And I, f I forgot who this was. This was one of the healers next to uh, Isani. Isani was a. Uh, Koetsu. I think that's Koetsu, if I'm not mistaken. I, I could be wrong, though. I think that's Koetsu. This is Koetsu. Same outfit and everything. That's just what she looks like in 2013. But yeah. So Koetsu was there as a vice captain. Ends up getting hit by the by the hollow. Get cut. And then four hollows show up. Actually, I think it's... Is it four hollows or is it like three... One, two, three, four. It's, it's like five hollows that pop up. It's crazy. Okay. Good. Father. Ichika. Father. You idiot. Why are you here? I'm sorry, Father. I'm sorry. And then chop something. the head. Hey, these guys don't have a Riatsu. They're not ordinary hollows. We'll strike them at once and spread out. But the hollows used for the ritual are supposed to be captured alive. This isn't a time to be saying that. We can capture hollows after we take these guys out. So, what's this guy's name? I'm trying to think of his name. I can't think of his name. Rindo. That's Rindo. Rindo activates his Shikai. It's going to give birth, which basically creates like this, uh, this paper chain. And he can create things from that paper chain. He sends out hawks or Taka. And you see a bunch of birds just pretty much just flying in it towards the target. And basically skins the target alive. So this dude is strong. So it's another hollow dead. And then Yaya. She runs up the hollow. Creates like a spirit bear. I don't know if this is her Zanbato or if this is just her. But she runs up, creates the spirit bear. Gao chomps the head. And chomps off the Yeah. I'm pretty sure they're not going to show that if when this ever when this gets animated I'm pretty sure they're not going to show that I'm strongly positive they're not going to show that so that's crazy alright um you see what's his name I want to say Kita I could get his name wrong, but he's um, splashing some type of liquid down at the bottom. One of the hollows try to charge at him. And then he puts a code in 3344558881236666. Ron, melt. And the hollow just. The hollow just melts right in front of his face. And then another one appears from above him seven times. 
Let me just cuss him. And there is Kira. He looks different. I wonder if he still has like the little rods still inside his body or whatever the case. But regardless, that's that's Kira. He appears. Kira, why didn't you quit? Kira, why don't you quit your hobby of patrolling remote regions? It suits me. Both remote regions and arriving late. I'm glad they're strange hollows, but it looks like we got things under control. I'm heading over. If you're in for a scold, you're in for a scolding once we get back. Now you see these chains pop up at the bottom. If you're familiar with any Bleach movie, you know what those chains are. But anyway, they pop up off the ground. They grab uh, Renji's ankle. You see, it's so lonely. Don't be such a hurry, Abara Renji. I wanted to see your face on this auspicious day, so I went out of my way to come here. You are Sanzeporo. He's back. Sanzeporo is back. Yeah, that's crazy. But yeah, that's him. He's emerging pretty much from hell. That's where he's coming from. What? It's just you? I said I wanted to see your face, but that was just an adulation. I don't see any. I don't see that scrawny Quincy, and that mad scientist isn't here either. If I was a person of small caliber, I would take this as an insult. What's with your appearance? Are you dead? <laughs> uh, this? That's right. I've fallen to hell. What do you mean? Hell is nice. You're unleashed from the yoke of a hollow, and your whole is moved outside of your body. So that's that. Both hatred and pain, like tears, flow outside of your brain. Oh, what's this thing? It's scared, poor thing. What's wrong? Answer me, Abarai Renji. I'm asking you what, what that thing is. Well, not that you have to answer me, since the Warden of Hell is all seen. Now, I'll start by killing... Now, I'll start things off by killing your daughter, Abarai Renji. Scattered all that. He sends out chains trying to capture Ichika. Grab one of the chains, grab Ichika's leg, gets ready to pretty much drag her down the hill. Oh, father, no father. Or that was Renji's leg. Excuse me. And then out of nowhere, Ichigo comes, slices the chains. Ichigo, go Renji. I can take Ichigo to a safe place. Go, go, go Renji. Take Ichigo to a safe place. You're in my way. Killing you after all this time wouldn't merit me anything, but I'll kill you, Kurosako Ichigo. Who the hell are you? And you see everybody gather around Ukitake's grave. And all the little black little bubbles from hell are showing up. So what is this? This is not, is this not, is it, what is this? Is it not Reishi that won't return to the atmosphere? And Shinsui slices at it and it sizzles. And say, this is a will-o'-wisp from hell. A will-o'-wisp? Why is something like that here? Could you all lend me, lend your ears to a single superstition? It's been spoken about for a long time in soul society, and I believe it to be a superstition as well. There is a word, Ray, or the, the spiritual authority. It is a unit of measurement that is used to be utilized by nobles, and is said to represent the concentration of the of Ryatsu that resides within Reishi. The average division member has a Ray of grade 20. Vice captains vary between grade 5 and 4 and captains consist of grade 3 and higher. A soul reaper's body is made up of Rishi. When they die, their body returns their body turns into Rishi and returns to the earth of soul society. But people classified as grade 3 and higher can't do that because their Ryatsu concentration is too high. What allows them to return is this ritual, Soul Funeral Festival. This is what is taught at the Soul Reaper Academy. And what I'm about to say is that the superstition, actually, Reishi of grade three and higher cannot return to the Earth of Soul Society no matter what. So what should we do? We can't allow Reishi that too powerful to remain in Soul Society. The Soul Funeral Festival's real purpose is something else. 
With this ritual, deceased captains are sent down to hell. That's one hell of a reveal. They're sent down to hell. They're sent down to hell. Um, what are you saying? What? I'm telling the truth. Ichigo grieve, Kurosaki. Don't grieve, Ich Kurosaki Ichigo. You should know that a price must be paid to gain strength. Souls that have lost a place to return to because of the immense power that they sought are saved by sending them down to hell. This is kindness. And unbeknownst to them, the benevolent soul reapers have, with their own hands, been sending their comrades down to hell. It's, is that true, Captain Kuriaku? Have we really... I just realized right now that it might have been true. You cannot believe it. The fact that I've appeared in front of you all, you cannot believe it. The fact that I've appeared in front of all of you is decisive proof. Balance has been broken. The tremendous Ryatsu that was keeping the mouth of the hell in check, eyes and Sosuke disappeared, and right after Yuha vanished, you guys sent tremendous Ryatsu down the hill one after another allowing the mouth of hell to be forced open from hellside. The founder of Gotei Yamamoto Goryasu, Ginryusai, the blade of death Onohana Retsu, and today, Shank, somebody stabbed him. Ah, uh, you've made an early arrival, Divine Vow, Ukitei Jushiro. What, what are you saying? The ritual is still, it's finished. You guys just slaughtered those ghouls from hell right in front of Ukitake Jushu. Wow. You know, I skimmed through this. I didn't read it in, you know, thoroughly as I'm doing it now. So, the ritual was supposed to. So, that's why he's in hell right now. Shit. Cause they they slaughtered hollows in front of Joshua's grave. Joshua's grave. And he was already and he and then he got sent to hell immediately after. So the doors opened up and he skewered Sanzo Alparo. San Zelporo. San Zapro him. I'm getting tongue tied. Cause I didn't understand the details of it. I read it, but I just it w wasn't clicking until just now. So you guys just slaughtered those ghouls from hell right in front of Ukitake Jushiro. Now I will return, and you guys should think properly. Hell has always been nearby. There's no way you haven't noticed. You haven't ever wa haven't you ever wondered why the butterflies that guide soul reapers have hell in their name? Then the door shows up right there and that and the eyeball starts staring down and you see Kazui following one of the very butterflies and this is the beginning of the jaw the the jaws of hell arc that has yet to be determined when it's going to come up and so some pretty crazy things are going to be happening during this so if you guys want to read this, I will leave the link to description in in, in the, I, will, I will leave the link to this uh, manga in the description so you guys can uh, read it for yourselves. But this arc is going to be one hell. So this kind of like answers a lot of questions. Um, what happened to the original Gote 13? Like did they just go off and live their lives, or did they just disappear? No, they got sent to hell. Um. So they've been sitting there for like forever. Uh, Ukitake, we might get here. There's a very high possibility. Uh, excuse me. Ukitake, there's a very high possibility that we're going to end up getting his Bankai reveal. If you played B Bleach Brave Souls, they kind of showed it to you. But we might actually get to see it during this arc. Um... And I hope that we actually get to see uh, the Bankai's and the new captains um, 
I know Isune, she she revealed her Shikai, but it never revealed exactly what it did. So I hope we get to see that along with her Bankai. Uh, this Rindo guy, the vice captain to Ebo Squad. I'm actually curious to see more of him because he's he's interesting, and I like it. I like his Zanbato. Um. I want to know if the other, uh, I want to know if Barangon is down there in hell, because, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure if Sansa Opero is, it, is down there, I know Barangon got to be down there as well. The reason why I said that is because the rituals may be different for hollows like they just go down there on their own um because soul reapers they need to basically kill hollows in order for the uh the soul reapers to get sent down so i don't know this this is gonna be one hell of an arc no pun intended it's really gonna be one of those so it looked like we're going to see Ichika and Kazui more so in action. Um, I'm wondering if some of the Quincy's are down in hell. That's a question that I would like to see answered. I wonder if some of the Quincy's are down there. Uh, yeah, man, they have a lot to look forward to. There's so many questions that we got to answer, bro. There's so many things like I wonder if Ukiora is down there you know what I mean like the more you think about it the more you start to wonder like you wonder if Ukiora is down there um as strong as he was you know all the original Gote 13 that's basically confirmed they're down there now I think Aizen is down there unless he's still trapped in Mukin I think Aizen is down there now um it is a lot like the possibilities are literally endless for what they can do um so i can't wait but yeah so again the link to this is going to be in the description you guys can check it out and um that, that about wraps up this episode of anime live chat i hope you guys enjoyed it it was a lengthy one but uh it was a good one so thank you guys for watching peace i hope you guys check out the animes that were mentioned and um yeah see you guys next time for another anime live chat remember be humble in victory be gracious in defeat but show no mercy in battle world warriors collective i'm out